Welcome back, Science 10. Next on the list is uh, Investigation 6.2, Measuring Masses and Chemical Changes. And uh, you'll likely have to grab a textbook here. It's on pages 220 to 221, outlining exactly what the procedure is. It's a relatively easy experiment, but uh, just looking at the procedure there, you, it should be a, a good example. Um, I think I do have, for the most part, everything on this uh, investigation sheet, so if you copy it out, you should be, be in decent shape. So, uh, purpose, does the mass of a substance change when it undergoes a chemical reaction? It's just simply that. Hypothesis, what you're going to predict happens. Uh, of course, as mentioned earlier, we have reactants turning into products. Always think of the reactants as the beginning part, and then once you mix the two reactants, or three or whatever, you get the end product the ending or products. So your hypothesis is just going to simply be, I believe that the mass of the products will be either less than, greater than, or equal to compared to the products. So the same or less or more uh, really would go in that question mark area. Background, I want you to define reactants and products. So I kind of just defined that already, so it should be fairly easy. Uh, procedure, <clears throat> um, basically page 220 to 221 of the textbook, uh, you need to wear goggles, use the reactants carefully. Um, the materials are, I can't remember if I have sodium chromate or potassium chromate, but you'll notice that it's yellow. Uh, 10 to 15 mils of that in a flask at the bottom. So a flask, it kind of looks like something has this shape. If you look in the textbook, there's a better picture of it. Uh, a stopper, a little test tube. And inside the test tube, around five milliliters of lead nitrate. You'll see it; it's labeled in the lab there. It's clear, and uh, basically put the yellow sodium chromate in the bottom. Uh, put your five mils of lead nitrate in the um, test tube. Carefully put the test tube in there, so as the reactants do not mix just yet. Okay, and then next. I kind of changed a few things here. Uh, of course, we're not using iron 3 chloride and sodium hydroxide as in the textbook. So if you look in the textbook, whenever it asks for iron 3 chloride, that's the sodium chromate we're using. When it asks for sodium hydroxide, that's where we're using the lead nitrate. So before you combine them, what do the reactants look like separately? Then when you put carefully put that test tube in there, so as to not to mix both of them, what's the total mass of the reactants and products. And then you tip it over, mix it all up, what uh, description of the reaction itself, and then what do the products look like. Predict what the mass will be, and then go and then mass it. Okay, so you make a prediction here, then you actually mass it. So of course your prediction should coincide with what you originally predicted here. Is it the same, is it different, etc. So go back there to help you out. And then in the conclusion, just basically the three uh, questions here, what are we going to do? So you can say the purpose was to da 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 da, whatever you said earlier. What did you think would happen? Here's where you talk about your hypothesis. It was thought that da 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 da, and then what did happen? Did the results support your prediction? So you hear you say what happened was, et cetera, et cetera. Then follow-up questions. What evidence do you have that a chemical reaction occurred in your flask? So was there a chemical reaction in your flask? If so, what, how did you prove it? So earlier on in the chemistry that we looked at, five things that indicate whether a chemical reaction occurs, what is it? And then over here, number two, the products of the reaction are sodium nitrate and lead to chromate. What's the word equation that illustrates the reaction in this lab? Okay. So fairly straightforward. Once again, page 220 of the textbook will help you out if you need some more visuals or a little more explanation as to what to do. Thanks for watching and good luck.